so does some pretty horrendous conditions, but a professional three points. Yeah, I think that's well summed up. Um, not the prettiest game in the world to watch. I mean, we were defending a very strong wind in the first half, and that sort of probably reflected, you know, how the game went. But so to go and get that set piece goal uh, from Jake McCarthy was a real, you know, real relief because at half time we knew we'd defended the hardest half. Uh, and I think really when Mo got the second, you know, we sort of we managed the game well because I thought we expended a lot of energy sort of physically and mentally on on Wednesday night and I was very concerned about today because I think Hemel are decent they get a very high press they got good energy and they never had a game uh, during the week so thankfully my concerns you know have been put to bed in what you said was a, a professional performance. Just talking about those set pieces obviously you had about 15 in the week mm. and not scored mm. many and scoring two today is that something you worked on? We always we see us training so we, we work on set pieces all the time different movements you know, different players going into different areas, different blocks. So, you know, I think 72% of all goals are scored from set pieces, whether that be, you know, from a long throw, mainly from corners, uh, obviously free kicks. So you, you've got to work at them because if you don't, you're giving up a massive chance of, of actually scoring a goal. And the back line today, Charlie Selby and throwing in goal, not having too much to do, fortunately, but um, a clean sheet as well. Yeah, good for Charlie. I mean, he's a big favourite with us and with the crowd. You know, he's very patient. He knows his role here, which is to work you know, work hard for Ross in training and work himself. He's improved immensely under John Keeley, our goalkeeping coach. So good credit to John as well for getting Charlie in the, sort of that mental position to come in. And, you know, seeing Charlie today a lot more confident before the game, you know, really wanting to play. Um, but, you know, we are going to be looking to bring another goalkeeper in, you know, purely because it looks like Ross is going to be quite a long time, the same as every other injury that we've got. And what did happen with Ross? Well, he's, when he kicked the ball, he's hyperextended his knee uh, on Wednesday. He did it in the first half. He did ever so well to carry on because the, when, the, the following morning, his knee is just totally blown up and it looks, it looks quite serious in terms of what the injury is going to be. He's going to get a scan next week. So just again, you know, that's the only deflating thing at the minute is the amount of injuries that we've got and keep getting. Um, but I've got to give massive credit to the, you know, to the players that keep really putting it out there week in, week out, because it's pretty much the same 14 players that we've got at the moment. I thought Clifford was brilliant today, uh, and he's been brilliant for you know for weeks and weeks and weeks now. Um, again, I thought Ethan Burnett, again, um, showed a real man's performance in the midfield with Billy. But yeah, I thought Joe Newton has come back to form. You know, he's very good Wednesday, again, very good today, but you've got to look at Osler and McCarthy and Pasley and, and, uh, and Newton stopped. What is a decent front three, you know, in terms of their pace and mobility, restricted them to, I don't remember Charlie actually making a, mm. a save in the whole game. And that's what it was. It was it was the difference of us scoring two set pieces, plus we had three or four, you know, Kingy's made three or four good saves for them. Um, but when the second goal went in, I think we felt we'd won the game. Uh, and that's how it proved. And with Jake McCarthy dropping into that centre-back position, obviously we've seen how well he thrived in that midfield position earlier on in the season. It's, it's important as well bringing in Ethan, the likes of Ethan, and controlling that midfield, even when you lose one into the defence. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, we didn't risk Oscar today at the start. The idea was, could we get in front of the game uh, and then bring Oscar in in that last 30 minutes to you know could try and control it? Because Oscar put a massive shift in Saturday and Wednesday and he just felt tightness in his hamstring and back. So, you know, I think Oscar's been, you know, again, he's found his form. He looks a really good player, the player that we had before he got injured last mm-hmm. season. Um, so tactically, it was always the, the idea to bring Oscar on after about 60 minutes. So I thought Oscar, Ethan and uh, Billy controlled the midfield, you know, after what was a difficult first half. I thought Hemel, um, certainly, you know, Morgan Griffiths and uh, Puku uh, in that midfield area. And obviously Dada were causing us, not massive problems, but causing us problems. So we had to get a grip of that. And in the end, I think we did. And now looking forward, it is a uh, long Tuesday night trip to Taunton. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, hope the weather doesn't intervene uh, in the meantime because I think there's a lot of rain uh, coming um, you know Taunton have done ever so well to get into that first round of the FA Cup they'll be disappointed with their result today but they shouldn't be you know to get the opportunity to go and play at MK Dons and uh, enjoy that first round experience they've done ever so well and I'd like to say well done to all the other conference south clubs who got through today I mean Farnborough you know beating my old side Sutton that's an unbelievable result um, absolutely getting through against Halifax and also, um, I think Weymouth have, have got a very credible draw against Wimbledon. So there's probably more that I, I don't know the other results, but what it does show is that the National South 
you know, it was an exceptionally good league and uh, delighted for those teams either to get through or to get their chance in the replay. And you're looking forward to the trip on Tuesday? Yeah, always look forward to any game. I mean, you'd always want to play rather than train. I spoke to, uh, spoke to Rob Dre, their manager, two or three times this season. He's done it ever so well there, you know, with knowing what the budget is at Taunton. They've got a very competitive side. They beat Yeovil in, there in the FA Cup. Uh, was it three or four? You know, that's a you know that's a good result. I think they won four, was it, against Tombridge last week. So they're a side in the league that have done it incredibly well because I think, you know, he's even said to me himself, they're probably most people's favourites to, to go down with the budget they've got. So they're a very competitive side. They've got very, lots, same as anyone, lots of energy, very willing. And they've got some ability in there as well. So it won't be easy. No, no game in this league is easy. And to go away only 48 hours after playing today, it's it's going to be a... You know, it's going to be a tough ask, but one that I said the players would rather play than train, that's for sure. Lovely. Cheers, Dawes. Well Cheers, mate. Bye.